Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 7th, 2020. Well, yesterday was one of those days where we had the good and the bad and the ugly all at the same time. And a disgraceful display of American politics here in the United States. But what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Before we get started, everyone, if you don't mind me to take just a second here and, and say something about yesterday's attack on the nation's capital. Um, as a former military officer, I took a, an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. I wore a patch, a flag on my shoulder that represented to me that as Americans, we, we, we work to respect Americans and work together as a group. We can disagree. We can vehemently disagree. but we still have to maintain a modicum, a, a modicum of respect for one another in this country. To see what we saw yesterday, putting our own countrymen in harm's way for a political display is disappointing, disrespectful, and it's not American. Let's hope with the certification of Joe Biden as the next president, we can finally begin to heal and maybe we can start working together instead of working against each other for the common goal. And raise America back to where it was. As that beacon of light, of freedom in a world that desperately needs it. So with that, let's take a look at these indexes. As you can see, um, the Dow had a tremendous rally yesterday. And with the Georgia election runoff um, looking more and more like um, they were clearing the path that the Senate would flip, um, there was a palpable hope that the next administration will increase um, government stimulus to the public. And so we had this really sharp rally yesterday, actually kind of a silly rally, in my opinion. Um, when it comes to the debt that we carry now in this country, we're going to have to sometime come to a realization we can't just print our way out of trouble. But right now, that's what the market is celebrating. And you can see we made new record highs yesterday in the Dow. Technically speaking, we are in a very strong trend. We were really running into trouble here um, on Monday, but those bulls fought back. They defended, as we talked about, as long as they defended those support levels and those trends, we were in pretty good shape. And now we've pushed out to new record highs and we're gapping a little bit higher this morning ahead of some um, data that could provide a little bit of price volatility. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also holding on to that trend. Bulls in control, getting a little bit of a boost here this morning, trying to show that bullishness and follow through to yesterday's um, impressive day. Unfortunately, the SPY was unable to hold on to those record highs by the end of the day, pulling back. And that creates just a little bit of a a hesitation in here, but you can see that we're pushing through there this morning, at least at the moment, we're trying to push through this morning ahead of that economic data. We'll want to keep an eye on that and just realize that we are pretty extended. If we take a look at our averages, um, we're an extended market. And um, while the market continues to celebrate um, the printing of money, our debt situation is becoming very critical. And at some point in time, um, I, I fear that the market could suddenly wake up to that and um, sentiment could quickly shift. So be really careful, trade the trend, stay with the trend, as I've been saying, 
but make sure you have a plan in case that sentiment does reverse so that you can protect your capital. These are big moves and we can typically see big moves like this, these big whipsaw type moves as we you know, reach market highs. So be careful that shift could occur at any time. It may not happen for months, but we want to be ready for it. We want to have a plan to protect ourselves in case it does. Let's take a look at the, the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ is showing us a little bit of concern. And if I go back to that, that naked chart here, that's what I call this without any indicators, just drawings, this naked chart, as you can see, um, if we take a look at this trend, we have shown a little bit of a problem here in the NASDAQ. We've broken that trend. And yesterday we dipped below this little support. We couldn't hold on to that move. So let's keep an eye on this. And let's remember some of these big tech firms are, are now under investigation. Um, Facebook, Google, all these kind of things for antitrust. And there's a little bit of a problem starting to happen with those really big um, giant techs. So watch that closely. We are getting a push up this morning. You can see the pre-market trying to push us up this morning. And that can be great if we can move back up here and recover that support. Um, it's also going to be okay if we can just kind of consolidate right in here, kind of hang on to this range hang in here and chop around, we're still okay in that chart. Where this will become a problem is if we were to get some selling coming in. If this were at any point in time over the next few days, if we see some selling that pushes us back down below that Monday low, and possibly even breaks this price support, that would be a problem. So keep your eyes on that right now the NASDAQ appears to be the weakest of the indexes. And as a matter of fact, I actually added some put hedging on um, to, to hedge my overall long positions, added a put hedge to um, my portfolio yesterday, um, just in case we did start to slip lower. So we'll watch that closely. And it is truly a hedge. It's just laying off some of my long delta risk in the market. So keep an eye on that. Um, it, it is a little bit troubling at the moment. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, very, very strong with um, oil surging yesterday, financial surging yesterday. Um, we have a very, very strong IWM. Now we ran into that concern that we were having there in the NASDAQ. We had this downtrend that had begun where we make a break the trend, make a lower high and started to fail. But we have completely reversed that. And as you can see, we're back up here setting new record levels in that. So as long as we can hold this new price support, we're in great shape. Any rest or pullback in here, as a matter of fact, would set up opportunity for more upsides if we can hold. So watch that carefully as we continue to push uh, pretty hard um, in the IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. I got to tell you, this still bothers me. Now the VIX remains elevated and we're pushing new record highs. And, and one of the reasons this concerns me is how quickly and how violently the market could move because we maintain such a high VIX reading. Um, again, I don't think it's ever been done in history where we've set new record highs in the market and seen a VIX running at a 25 handle or above a 20 handle um, at all. So it's, it's a different situation and it means that we could have very violent moves in the market. So make sure you're planning for that and being careful. Don't overtrade this market. Make sure you're staying um, consistent, thoughtful, and following your trading plan and your rules. But um, I think um, as we continue to hold up in this area, notice that we're kind of hanging out here um, right around that 50 day moving average. If we can finally get some calmness coming into the market, we really need to be seeing this down in here if we're setting new record highs. So watch this closely. Once again, I'm going to repeat, as long as we stay below this downtrend, I think we're okay. 
But if we were to happen to pop above and hold that as support, that's where the real selling trouble can come in, the real fear coming in. And we, as we continue to extend this market out, we continue to run the risk of that corrective action in the market. So just be watchful for it and be prepared, have a plan. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And it is once again up here signaling that we are reaching that short term term overbought condition and we have held up here and held up here for one of the longest times I have seen um, in in my trading career that we have held up here and we're just fueled up on this idea that we can print as much debt as we want and it doesn't matter as a matter of fact we ignored the fact that private payrolls dropped yesterday um, the jobs don't matter as long as we keep printing so kind of an interesting situation, but I want to call attention to the fact that we are reaching this area up here where we could see that um, that little bit of trouble. We may run out of a little bit of buying energy. So just watch that close. One thing you don't want to do is chase stocks that are already well within a move. And, and, and unfortunately, a lot of the stocks that moved yesterday that show bullish signs show gap ups, show very strong strength, and it would be a fairly high risk position to chase into those trades. So be very, very careful and just realize we do have a pretty good size open door to the downside if those bears decide to attack. Um, let's take a look at uh, T2101. Now I've been mentioning T2101 and mentioning how nervous it made me that we were continuing to rally in the market and seeing T2101 declining. Yesterday, for the first time in some time, we had a bullish move that was broad enough that we actually saw that absolute market breadth increase. We need to see that breadth continue to increase um, as we expand out. If this were to reverse and sink back down, if that breadth goes away, that would still be a concern for me in the market. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. In our economic calendar, we want to be paying pretty close attention to this this morning. As you can see, we have um, international trading goods that certainly can move us around, but we know that international trade, we're running tremendous deficits and we have have forever and um, not too many people seem to care about that but what they might care about is the jobless claims we'll want to keep an eye on that today jobless claims is um, yesterday we had the ADP number showing those private payrolls uh, diminished pretty sharply and if we happen to see those jobless claims spiking up and the consensus is suggesting that they go a little bit higher if we get a surprise um, um, much higher than that that could be a problem for us and maybe we will start um, waking up to the fact that our economy is really not that strong um, as this COVID crisis continues to expand across the country. So be really, really watchful of that uh, before the market opens. Keep in mind that we have uh, the rest of the day, we have um, Fed speakers that will be out here um, in force. We've got several as we go on through the day. We got a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. Again, I keep repeating that. No one cares about debt, so that doesn't matter. And um, we have ISM and natural gas uh, numbers uh, today. So watch those, but it's unlikely they will be very market moving at all. Now, interestingly enough, today we have one of our biggest um, earnings calendar days um, this week. Whoops, excuse me. We have one of our biggest earnings calendar days this week. And a few things, a few on here. And by the way, if you want to see the entire list, make sure you click on that link below the title of this video. That'll take you back to the blog and you can get the entire list. But a few of them that we might want to be paying attention to this morning, we have... Um, Bed Bath & Beyond that we'll be reporting. It looks like um, at this point, this is today's candle, um, Bed Bath & Beyond has disappointed this morning um, and could be heading back, but we are holding on to a little bit of a price support level in here. So as long as that holds, we're okay. But just keep an eye on that. That's, um, that's on there. We're also going to hear from ConAgra. ConAgra, let's keep an eye on that. It looks like it tried to perk up here this morning. I need to redraw some of these lines as you can see. Um, 
Um, looks like it tried to perk up a little bit this morning, but has pulled back since. Watch that carefully. We have kind of a wedge pattern forming in here. Um, so watch that carefully on ConAgra. A um, couple others, um, LW um, will be reporting today. You might want to keep an eye on that. And um, STZ, Constellation Brands. Um, reporting today and looks like this one has reported well uh, moving up this morning um, nice upside trend constellation brands a good old consumer defensive sector stock and um, we like our wine and beer so um, <laughs> um, lots of bullishness looks like we have that opportunity that we could be running up here testing some all-time highs here in constellation brands so any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity for a nice long long trade this afternoon probably the biggest report that we're going to get is from micron mu will be reporting this afternoon and micron has been in a very bullish uh, move here as you can see extremely strong pushing up here and we've just recently broke above this new resistance level in the chart that is now support so keep an eye on this um, as this reports this could be fairly significant and probably our biggest uh, uh, significant tech report for today watch that closely if that can hold up in here it has that opportunity to continue to move on higher let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up for the day but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos and you feel that these videos are helpful and useful if you could please do me a favor and click that that subscribe button and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and then also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps us to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does uh, do that now yesterday I, I ran out of time yesterday I wasn't able to answer um, yesterday's comments I did read them all didn't get a chance to answer um, all of those comments I'll see if I can catch up on some of those today but I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that I uh, believe I will have the time to answer those today so um, thank you very much everyone and if you feel this video is worthy um, please feel free to share it out there on the social media platforms that you use let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and you guys know that I have been kind of promoting um, and talking about metal stocks for some time and we see those continue to move up um, Alcoa since my alert here on this chart very nice bullish chart now one of the things I want to caution you on is not to chase this this far into this move wait for the next entry into the trend so if we get a rest or consolidation pullback of any kind watch for that next opportunity to pick this up but Alcoa looking very good take a look at FCX I've been talking about the strength in copper and you can see we talked about this many times here uh, the strength of this and this consolidating move popping through stretching on out metals seem to still be very very strong here as we um, seem to have an anticipation for a big move into um, into projects around the country improving infrastructure so um, copper and housing and those kind of things um, providing a really good story here for copper so keep an eye on that that's looking very good um, SCCO is another chart you're going to want to keep an eye on this is in a very strong upside trend any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity for an upside move hey guys take a look something very different now this is something I don't trade I don't trade biotechs um, they just have too much volatility in them for me but take a look here at GILD GILD has been struggling with this downtrend for some time we've tried several times to break through and we just haven't been able to do it in this downtrend well look what's happening now we've broken through solidly and if we take a look at some moving average notice that we're up here testing that 50-day moving average for the first time in a very long time on GILD this is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout it was actually coined and that phrase was coined by my partner um, Rick Sadler and it is a really great 
pattern to trade. So what we want to see here is we want to see that stock break above that 50 day moving average and then prove to hold it as support. And then we would be looking for a rally in here up toward that 200 day moving average. Keep an eye on GILD. It's really starting to change its uh, stripes here, looking quite a little bit better coming up out of this bottom. So keep a close eye on that. I mentioned um, Starbucks the other day that we should keep a close eye on it, even though we had this big ugly bearish candle setting up in here and you can see that Starbucks had a pretty good day yesterday rallying um, off of this price support keep an eye on that that may still have that opportunity to extend itself to the upside um, I keep mentioning um, GLD gold gold had a really rough day yesterday as you can see selling off very very strongly it seems like the safety stocks got kind of pounded down yesterday but i still think there's reason whoops i'm sorry i somehow slipped to a two-day chart um what we want to be looking for in this chart i think is this um, downtrend here that we have broken in that chart so if we can hold that area as support let me show you my drawings on this chart where we have this kind of congestion area of price support if gold can pull back and hold in here we may still hold on to this trend so let that spill off that volatility dance around in here for a little bit there may still be that opportunity keep an eye on gold keep an eye on stocks like lift Roku lots of stocks yesterday making very very bullish moves looking good we had big surges in cannabis stocks yesterday we saw uh, solar stocks um, doing very very well yesterday keep an eye on all of those places where I would be a little bit concerned is when we look at stocks like Facebook Facebook running into some problems here as you can see we've got a little bit of a res um, wedge pattern in here and we've broken down below that um, support level in the chart so this is a little bit of concern um, right now we see that we see Google Google whoops Google starting to slip just a little bit. Notice we have this downtrend going on. We do have a strong level of price support, but let's watch that closely. We've broken this upside trend in the chart and let's watch to see that could easily slip on lower. We're seeing some of those big techs run into problems. Watch those closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Hopefully we can all um, wash our hands of this ugliness that happened yesterday. We can get back to business and hopefully this country can begin to heal from this very derisive um, place that we have been for a very long time. Um, let's remember that we're all Americans. Let's work together. Let's work to improve our country. Let's not tear it down. Let's not tear each other down. Everyone take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.